Hey guys, it's Lodo Drendel here. Um, this time, well, I did say I'd have this out this week, and it's the end of the week. Maybe I need to stop procrastinating putting this off any further than I already have. Um, I did want to talk about, I did want to give my uh, SummerSlam predictions and a little bit of uh, my thoughts on how SmackDown and Raw are doing. Sorry, moving the shit around. As a whole. Now, let's we'll start off with SummerSlam. Not SummerSlam. The WWE SmackDown Raw. It's cut this. I call it the budding sibling rivalry as a whole. For me, entertainment-wise, I think right now, and this is my opinion. I'll just give ratings right now for Raw and SmackDown. Leading up to SummerSlam, since my last video, I'll have to give Smack Raw about a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, there's some good moments, but there are some that are squandered. SmackDown, I'd have to give a 8.5, maybe even a 9 out of 10. So yes, so so leading up to SummerSlam, chalk one up for, for SmackDown. SmackDown 1, Raw 0. Now, what things from... You know, from Raw, were were entertaining. I like. I did kind of like the little back and forth that was going between Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. And quite honestly, I really do look forward to the to that match. Although, um, I don't want to spoil predictions. I'll give my predictions after that. I um, mean, you know, there's Cesaro versus Sheamus. And, you know, it's, you know, another decent match, I guess. You know, they've been going back and forth on Raw, though, and, and though Sheamus has gotten the short end of the stick every time. Oh, um, Sasha Banks, the little the rivalry with Charlotte's pretty decent, I think. Then you got Jarek K.O. and the New, not the New Day, Bleh! Enzo and Cass. I'm mixing New Day... Uh, because they have a feud going with the club. I'll be honest. Um, the Jarek KO t tagging is not good. I don't. I I personally don't like it. I mean, I thought we were gonna. I you know during the Jarek you know the not Jarek the highlight reel. You know where when um. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens both pretty much gave the boot to Jericho. I actually didn't. I thought that, you know, maybe after this we maybe see a face turn for Kevin Owens. Maybe um, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens could have been attacked. Maybe tried teaming up. Didn't happen. And I think that's kind of a wasted opportunity because now Sami Zayn's starting to kind of. I feel like he's not. He's not really getting any acclaim or exposure, and that's. I don't like it. I think it's stupid. But that's my opinion. Sami Zayn's one of those guys that I felt should have been pushed. Hard. Or at least have a push maybe to go for the Intercontinental title. Or even the U.S. T no, no, not U.S. Inter you, you, you guys are getting my point. They, he should have been pushed to at least go for a championship or at least have a spot on the show. Okay. Smackdown. The... Eva Marie segments were hilarious. <laughs> I'll be honest, but she has been apparently she has been suspended, along with Paige and Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio and Paige suspended for wellness violations, and with those two being rom apparently romantically linked, that's mm -mm, not good. Oh well, <laughs> but yeah, so it's. Rather intriguing. So, SmackDown, other, you know, The Miz bit with Apollo Crews, it's somewhat entertaining, but at the same time, it's like, it almost feels like they're burying Apollo Crews. I could be wrong. Maybe they're just not giving him much exposure right now. Um, the Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, I do like, you know, how they're going about this feud. The whole, I still like I still liked Ziggler's promos and the way he is over Dean Ambrose, but Dean Ambrose can cut a mean promo. He can do he does well too. Um, the John Cena AJ Styles haven't seen a whole lot on that, and maybe they were just kind of saving that for you know for SummerSlam. <sighs> 
Lesnar and Orton. Hmm. Not sure what to think. But overall, it's I've been more entertained by SmackDown's shows than I have by Raw. Not to say Raw is terrible. Like I said, they have they are entertaining as well. But right now, just right now, in my humble opinion, SmackDown does have the edge. So now, let's get on to the SummerSlam card. We're going to start off with kickoff matches, which, according to WWE.com, there are three. First match, American Alpha, the Hype Bros, and the Usos, versus Brizongo, which is Fandango, Tyler Breeze, the Ascension, those two finally got back together, and the Valde Villains. So it's a 12-man tag match. Who would I give? Who do I think will get the victory? I want to. I really do want to give the victor to predict that. You know, it's a pred, it's prediction. So again, whatever. I have to say, Hype Bros, Usos, and American Alpha, with a, with a W. But I wouldn't be surprised to see the to see Brizongo, Ascension, and Vaude Villains come out with some sort of cheap victory. Could go either way. Well, and actually, and Sami Zayn and Neville. Yes, that is a team. Versus the Dudley Boys. I'd have to say Sami Zayn and Neville. The Dudley Boys have been jobbers. and uh, I don't like it. I really wish Devon and... I mean, I know it's you know it's for the money, but Devon and Bubba, Bubba Ray, the Dudley Boys, or I'll just call them the way I prefer to calling them, Devon and Bully Ray. They, I think, were better on TNA. You know, they they was more they were more entertaining in my book. But that's me. Cesaro versus Sheamus. I think Sheamus. I'll just have to say Sheamus. I'm, he'll probably come up with. He'll be able to squeak out a victory. Like I said, he has been getting the short end of the stick. So, my opinion again. So to re recap my kickoff match predictions. American Alpha, Hype Bros, and the Usos getting the victory over Brizongo, Vaudevillains, and the Ascension. Neville and Zayn over the Dudley Boys. And Sheamus over Cesaro. So, let's get on to more to uh, what we have right now. We have, into SummerSlam, we have Carmella, Becky Lynch, and Naomi versus, well, I felt was supposed, versus Natalia and Alexa Bliss. Eva Marie was supposed to be a part of this match, but since she has been suspended, she's not. Now, this might still be a six diva, a six diva tag match. It's not, you know, not too sure. I'll update, I'll update, you know, with an annotation once I figure it out. But part of me thinks, and this is just, you know, my own thinking. I think Natalia and Alexa Bliss may find a third partner. And they will come out with a victory. Apollo Crews versus the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz. As much as I don't like... I mean, the guy's great as a heel. As much as I don't like how he acts as a heel, even though he's doing good at it, I have to go with The Miz. You know, they've done pretty well with how he looks, even though he's kind of been a bit of a prick. Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus Jera. KO, Jericho and Kevin Owens. I'd have to say Amore and Cass with the victory, and maybe Kevin Owens could either Kevin Owens just, you know, turns on Jericho to a fa with a face turn on him, or maybe Jericho could do a, uh, um, a code breaker to Owens and maybe a face turn for Kevin Owens. Personally, I really do want to see Kevin Owens as a face. That would be, I mean, I'm sure, you know, I'm there. They got a lot of of uh, good guys, so it's who knows. WWE champs, the New Day versus Gallows and Anderson. Mm, this one is one that I'm torn in because I, we've kind of seen a bit of a of a mutual respect and possible alliance between the club Gallows and Anderson and Seth Rollins. You know what? Let me move forward though. WWE Women's Champion Sasha Banks versus Charlotte. I think Sasha Banks will retain. Although I wouldn't be surprised to see Charlotte, you know, 
cheat her way to victory. United States champion Rusev versus Roman Reigns. <sighs> I'd have to. I really. I don't know. I don't like Roman Reigns. I mean, I'm sure you know he's a decent worker. I didn't like the way he was shoved down our throats for the longest time. So maybe I. You know what? I'll say Roman Reigns. But don't be surprised if Rusev could pull off a victory, maybe to the interference. Cena versus a John Cena versus AJ Styles. I want to. I won't personally. Although I know, Cena has had some history of burying people. I mean, he semi buried Bray Wyatt after the WrestleMania. Even though Bray Wyatt then went against the Undertaker. Who knows on this one? Um, I want to say I want to get my prediction will be AJ Styles going over John Cena. Although with the way they were talking, anything's possible. Finn Bat no, no, jump forward. Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton. I honestly feel Brock Lesnar's gonna get this one easily, but I don't know. It's interesting to see. Viperville and Suplex City. I personally th think you know, fit, you know, logically they're gonna get. They would give you know the W will go to Brock Lesnar. So, okay, now let me get back to what I was talking about here, and I did miss one championship, but I did that on purpose. So. The World Tag Champions, The New Day versus Gallows and Anderson, along with Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins, to crown the first WWE Universal Champion. I'm sorry, but that's a stupid name for a title. My opinion. This could go two different ways. That Rollins and Gallows and Anderson... They both lose their matches. Or, Rollins and the club, or Neil Gallows and Anderson, win their matches due to each side interfering. Now, if you, you know, if you take that out, pers I would like to see, I don't know, I don't know, I think Seth Rollins will win, personally, just because, you know, Finn Balor's gotten a huge, you know, since he's come up from NXT, that, this is a big push. Personally, I felt Sam I kind of felt Sami Zayn could have gotten it, but at the same time, hmm. I, I mean, Finn Balor is doing pretty well. You know, Seth Rollins seems to still get some cheers, even though he's supposed to be a, a bad guy. So, between these two, I mean, I could see a possibility of the New Day retaining and Rollins winning, but we'll see what happens. So, prediction on that. I'll have, I mean, like I said, with those two, with those two, um, scenarios, my prediction will be the New Day dropping the belts to Gals and Anderson and Seth Rollins winning the title. Will it be because of interference or will it be clean? I think, honestly... I want to say that they'll win it clean. We'll split. We'll see what happens. We'll also clean, clean victories for both. Now the last one that I didn't discuss: WWE Champion Dean Ambrose versus Dolph Ziggler. These two, I, I, I like both of the. I like both of these superstars. I've I've followed Ziggler since he was Nikki in the Spirit Squad. As he's that when he started, he was a cheerleader. I hate, I felt so, I felt so bad for him. I mean, but to see how far he's come from a cheerleader advancing, you know, he did because, was, he was contending with CM Punk when CM Punk was the champion during the days of John Loser-Nitus, John Laurinaitis. Um, he has, you know, he has gone against Edge, even though... In storyline, cheated thanks to Vicky Guerrero. Well, Vicky Guerrero screwed Edge out of the title. Um, he cashed in his contract on Alberto Del Rio. I don't know. I mean, I'd like to see. I want to see Ziggler come out with it. Either way, but I will say this for this match: I want to say that there's a possibility. 
I feel that there's going to be a heel turn. Either Ambrose or Ziggler can potentially turn heel. I'm not going to say who because I personally don't know. You know, I don't look at dirt sheets and all that shit. I just, you know, I personally will say I predict that there could be a heel turn between either of them. If I had to say which one would turn heel, depend it depends on the outcome of the match. Since I predict Dolph Ziggler to go over Dean Ambrose, though it's probably likely with WWE, Ambrose will go over Ziggler. I think the heel turn will be will be will be on um, Ziggler. Ziggler will turn heel. Who knows what? Who knows? So that that you know that wraps up, guys. My SummerSlam predictions and Raw SmackDown versus Raw ratings. You know my opinion, and same for the predictions. So if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up. And, you know, if you'd like to see more of these, feel free to let me know in the comments. Feel free to subscribe for more. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can check out my channel in the About. I have my Twitter there. It should be even in my banner. So, and I'll actually, you know what? I'll even leave it in the description box down below as well, if you guys prefer. So, I hope you guys have a good Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, whatever time it is for you. And until next time, peace out, everybody.